This is Robert Beveridge from the CERT division with your SCI Cyber Minute. The WannaCry ransomware takes advantage of a Windows vulnerability that encrypts important files such as documents, photos, and videos on the infected system. It then demands a ransom from the user in exchange for a key to unlock the files. After three days, the ransom doubles, and after six days, user files, such as pictures of loved ones and important life events, will be forever lost. WannaCry spreads by looking on the local network for other vulnerable machines to infect. So far, the cyber attack has spread to more than 150 countries, affecting hundreds of thousands of computers in industry, education, government, healthcare, and other sectors. Imagine needing to cancel a life-saving operation because of patient records were lost. Fortunately, you can employ several strategies to prevent becoming a victim of these type of attacks. First, ensure your systems are patched on a regular basis. A patch for the WannaCry vulnerability was published by Microsoft in March of 2017. Next, frequently backup your entire system and keep the backups off-site. By doing so, you can recover your system with a minimal loss of data. You should also remove or disable any unnecessary services running on your systems. In this case, those that use the SMB port 445. And finally, avoid clicking on attachments and links within emails as phishing is commonly used to spread these type of ransomware attacks. Thanks for watching this SCI Cyber Minute. For more information, please visit our website or send me an email at info at sci.cmu.edu.